move on then and Zen Technologies that's in the spotlight talking a little bit about how there's an opportunity from the anti-drone systems and how defense orders as well are picking up. Joining in is Ashok uh, Atluri who is the Chairman Managing Director. Thanks so much for taking time out. Um, I just wanted to understand uh, what the outlook is given that we have seen um, overall anti-drones uh, you know the demand picking up overall what is that looking like? Have you seen an increase in the overall in Inquiries. What is the expectation from the Ministry of Defence when it comes to orders? So you know, overall, uh, the, the, to give you the picture, you know, one thing is the combat readiness is the one focus which the government is having, not only in India but worldwide. Because you know, war may happen at any point in time. Be ready with enough training. And the second is the emerging and serious threat which started with, which was proven in Armenia-Azerbaijan war of drones. So these two things, combat readiness, training requirement, and the counter drone systems are the essential arsenal required in any uh, army's, uh, you know, quiva. Uh, so we definitely, in, uh, in India, we are seeing a huge uptake in the requirement for uh, anti-drone systems. And especially recently in the Indian Ocean also, there have been attacks and a staggering amount of attacks. So, you know, we need to really up the game. And we are getting the same indication from the Indian uh, government. So, in light of that, are you also upping your capex or expansion plans? So, we are upping our uh, R&D expenses on uh, counter drone systems a lot. In fact, that is one thing we are doing. Again, you know, when we have to increase our sales, our uh, focus has always been in building better monitoring system with our supply chain. Because uh, almost 85 to 90 percent of our manufacturing is outsourced and we don't do it in-house. So, the supply chain is robust enough to handle the expansion that we see for this year and next year at least and then maybe we will uh, look at the supply chain there's no capex and we say for uh, the scaling up the sales of the company no okay fair enough um what about the outlook when it comes to your pricing for the um anti-drone segment are you seeing uh, you know some sort of an uptake and what is the outlook on your current order book status what does that stand at so, so the, currently the order book is standing at uh, almost 1,500 crores and, uh, you know, the domestic uh, se segment in that is about 1,085 crores and exports it about 443 crores. So, these are the things. But again, when you look at the product segmentation, training and simulation is about 890 crores and uh, anti-drone system is 640 crores. And yes, we are looking at a huge uptake in the anti-drone system as we speak. There's a lot of interest both from Indian and export uh, sources for that. The other thing I also wanted to understand is, you know, how the business is evolving, Mr. Atluri. Um, what about, you know, technical tie-ups, uh, more R&D? What's happening on that front? You know, one thing is because the counter drone technology is extremely sensitive and needs to be owned by a country in the sense that, you know, where there is a continuous R&D cycle because the sets keep evolving every time. So uh, R&D expenditure will be incurred for evolving our uh, system. And we are looking at uh, if there are some uh, something which we cannot achieve internally within India. We are looking at other uh, other uh, companies that are doing that. The government of India is really really focused on IP ownership of Indian companies. So the tie-ups uh, preferably would be with Indian company, but you know in very exceptional cases we may look at a foreign company if uh, we feel that we we cannot realize the same within two to three years within the country. Okay, fair enough. Uh, any technological tie-ups that you're expecting? So, you know, we're looking at a couple of acquisitions at this point in time, and if it happens, uh, it will further strengthen the company's, uh, both, uh, we're looking at both EW, the electronic warfare, that's the counter drone system space and uh, simulation space. But And if that happens, that will be very positive for us. Okay, and any export order potential? Yeah, I mean, ex export, uh, as we speak, we have a lot of inquiries and we're talking to a lot of countries about it. So we, uh, and obviously there is competition for uh, counter drone system, lesser so in the case of training and simulation. But exports is another area that uh, we expect a lot to happen in the next two years. Yeah, there are a lot of inquiries at, at present we are in discussion. All right, appreciate your time. Thank you for taking us through the outlook. That's the view from Zen Technologies, an uptake in anti-drones for Indian and export orders. And they have seen their overall capex as well increasing.